What is up guys, welcome to your second game and good tutorial. Today we're going to stray off from the platformers thing that we did in episode 1. I'm going to go into some top down shooters. Today I will be showing you um, how to rotate your player with the mouse, how to shoot and how to destroy obstacles and get around in our environment. So, for starters, when you create a sprite, and just call it sprite player. You can do a sprite however you want, but for the sake of this tutorial, it's just going to be a nice black and white circle. Second, oh, it's not black and white. <laughs> there we go. Black and white circle. Now we're going to center the objects. That's going to be important for later. Next sprite, just call it sprite block. Oops, it's easy. Right. You can have this however you want, and it's a nice plain block. Just for an obstacle. The last, we're going to create three sprites in this tutorial, and the last one is just going to be called Sprite Bullet. I think you can guess what we're going to use that for. So we're just going to stretch that down to maybe an 8x8. Keep aspect ratio. And this is going to be a knight plain white block. Send to it all times, I don't think I sent that one. Yeah I did. Alright, now start making your first object. Call it object player. Right, we're just gonna start with the basic movement at the moment. So we're going to the step event and add some code. So first type if keyboard check direct. From the last episode, if you haven't watched it, here we go. You can either do Odd A, oops, another speech mark there. Odd A, which makes it so if you're pressing the A key, then so will happen if I if I put braces in. And then you can also do if keyboard check direct V K left, and that will use the arrow keys. So you can just do V V K or left, and that will just make it so the left arrow will do it. But right now. I think I'm more used to using odd because it's just um, a better layout for when you want to create a full game. Alright, so now you want to put hate speed equals minus 3. Once you've done that, you can just copy and paste that and change the A to a D. So when you press the A, so when you press the D key now, hate speed equals 3. Hate speed equals minus 3 means that it's go left, and hate speed equals 3 means you go right. So now you want to copy both of them Let's just comment some code here left slash right Oops. there we go and now up oh, down so keyboard check direct odd w now and odd s so we're going to change this to V speed, H speed to V speed, and H speed to V speed again. Now this will create the up and down, left and right movement. The problem that we now face is that once you press something, it won't stop. So here's how to make it stop. Just put a little comment here: left, right, stop. So put if keyboard check released. Oops. Probably copy and paste this, but. Oh, I keep forgetting that speech mark. Right, we could just go with that and it would stop. But I like to put in and put an exclamation point. Keyboard check direct odd D. Right, and what this does is obviously keyboard check released checks if the A key is being released. Um, what the exclamation mark does is it sort of counteracts the entire thing, so and not keyboard check direct or A or D. So it's checking if the D key isn't being pressed. This makes it so that some people like to hold the A key and the D key. Just with, I, don't, I don't know why, but still, if you hold the A key and then you let go of the let go of the A key without this check, it would just stop completely. But with this check, it will just go right instead of making the D button useless. So now I've done that. We can add some braces. We've got a time limit here, 15 minutes. I'll do on 5. 
Okay, so then height speed equals zero. Now, if you just want to copy and paste that, and just change this around to D and A, and that's done. So now, once you've done that, you can just copy the comment and this code, and just do up, down, stop. Change these to WS, and change these to S. W. If I'm going too fast for you, you can just pause the video and do it at your own speed. So now, if I haven't done anything wrong, I'm going to assign a sprite to sprite player, add a room, add a player. Now, if everything is done right, it should move up, down, left, right, and stop when it wants to. Right, there we go. So now we've done that, we can make it rotate to the player. What we can do first to make sure it stops. To make sure that it's working, is you want to just add a little arrow just to make sure because all sprites start at 90 degrees, so that, so that'll be forward. So now, if we make it point to the mouse, we'll know that it's pointing straight at it. So you just do image angle equals point direction, oops, x and y comma, mouse slash x comma, mouse slash y, and that's done. So now, it rotates. As you can see, it's a little bit wobbly. So that is because there's no even point in, um, in the origin. So what you can do to counteract that is just to resize it, 33 by 33 and then just create a new sprite now it's 33 by 33 you can create one simple arrow and there we go that should sort out the center problem now it's at a full 16 by 16 origin and it has stopped the wobbling thing has stopped you can increase the quality by just going in interpolate colors between pixels and then that will increase the quality quite a bit you can use anti-aliasing but I'll, I'm guessing I'll show that in the, in the next episode, it's pretty easy um, to make it shoot now, that's what I created the sprite bullet for in the create event, this can be a variable, it's just called can shoot equals one so all this code in here, you can put comment over it and just put movement for the next comment, just put shooting. And put some code there. So if mouse check button pressed, oops, MB left, and and can shoot equals one, then instance create, this what object we're going to create now object bullet and just put can shoot equals zero alarm zero equals 30 the 30 amounts to one second so 30 fps per second if you change the game speed to 60 fps, 60 fps per second then um well frames per second then you're going to want to change it to 60 for a second delay this is basically the delay between bullets you can just put one and that will make the bullets five out and it'll make your game lag like hell, so that's why I always put 30. Now something I didn't put out there. There we go. Put an alarm here. The reason I put the alarm is because so can shoot equals one. That's make so you can shoot again. Next, make an object. Call it object bullet. Assign a sprite. I want to make this do something. So it will be image angle equals equals object player dot image angle right be sorry direction equals image angle and image angle equals direction 
and finally speed equals 3. This is the speed of the object, so speed of your bullet. I'm going to just put that at 6 so to make it faster than the player. Direction is the direction of um, what the bullet is facing, so direction equals object player at image angle. Because the image angle of the object is facing the mouse, the bullet will go to the mouse's direction, but only on the create event. Now, in the step event, no, I think that's it, actually. Yep. So now, if this works, which it should do, unless I've done anything wrong. Yep, that's just a bullet. Although you cannot shoot. That is weird. More than once. Can't shoot as one. Can't shoot. Mm, that's weird. Nah. I oh, will leave that for now. Anyway, create your next object and call that object block. No, this wasn't wait, waiting enough time. And just make that as a solid. That's it. In the object player, we're going to add an event, add a collision event with object player. No. <laughs> Change that. Collision event with object block. And add in code and just put B speed equals zero, H speed equals zero. This just stop the object. I'll try and make another episode where we check up precise collision checking where you'll be able to hover across walls and all that jazzle. Right. So in the bullet, if you want to make the blocks destroy on, in, on impact with a bullet, you can just put um, with other. Other is basically the object because we're colliding with the object block. So with other instance destroy there we go and then for the bullet put instance destroy this is to basically destroy the bullet the last instance just destroy here um, I suppose you don't have to put it but an in invincible bullet in a game wouldn't really work well with you know many games at all so now go on other and click outside room and put instance destroy this is just a fail safe in case you don't hit anything don't hit any bullets because then the bullets will just carry on moving outside the room and eventually lag your game a lot. Now just put some blocks here. Fire. Now does it work? No. Which is kind of weird. Hmm. Let's just see what's up here. Shooting. Mystic button pressed and be left and can shoot equals one. Instance create X from the Y comma object bullet. Can shoot equals zero. One zero equals thirty. Hmm. Let's just do something a second. It's called one o o o o one. It's showing local variables. If I shoot. Ah. <laughs> Stupidest mistake ever. I didn't spell alarm right. So now, if we do it now, there we go. Bullets firing everywhere for one delay. That should be it for now because I'm sort of running over nearly 15 minutes, 30 minutes, going on to 40 seconds now. So, that is the end of your second tutorial. We've been looking at top down shooters. If you want to go back to side scrollers, um, just comment and uh, tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. So that's it, guys. Um, see you later.